Amsterdam is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and a really popular tourist destination. The central section of the city, also called the Inner Canal Belt, is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is known for its gorgeous architecture and the compact size. One can take a 10-minute train ride or walk for about 10 minutes to go from one end of the central area to another. There is no shortage of great places to stay in Amsterdam. You can select between posh and sleek boutique B&Bs, beautifully renovated old canal homes, houseboats, deluxe short-stay houses, campsites, hostels, and many more accommodation options. It may however be noted that accommodation costs spike during the peak seasons, during Christmas, Easter, and between July and August. Hence, it is a good option to book your hotels in advance and not wait until the last moment. Some of the best places to stay in Amsterdam are mentioned below. The city center. The city center is choco block with bars and restaurants. The central train station is located towards the north and it is connected to the Schiphol Airport. The area is enclosed by canals, Dam Square is the hub and the main attraction is the majestic Royal Palace. The new Wendy and Calvistra shopping streets are located next to Dam Square. The lively restaurants of Chinatown can be found near New U Markt. Waterloo Pliant Square is situated towards the southeast of city center, it is home to the House of Rembrandt, now converted into a museum, and a daily flea market where stallholders sell antique stuff and second-hand barrels. The globally known red light district is located towards the east next to the old church or Rudkirk. The old center. The old center is located at a short walking distance from all the popular tourist attractions. It is also the main area for nightlife and shopping. There are lots of inexpensive hotels and budget travelers can choose to stay here when in Amsterdam. It may however be noted that the red light district is located really close by, and families with kids may want to avoid it. Hotel de l'Europe is a luxurious, charming, and stylish hotel that has been hosting guests for decades. Located centrally next to the river, the hotel is posh and big rooms as well as a two Michelin star restaurant, a lavish Freddy's bar, and a spa. The Flying Pig downtown hostel is big, clean and efficiently run by former travelers who are aware about the requirements of backpackers. The hostel is quite popular and features mixed dorms, a few of which come with large beds that can sleep two people. The Canal Loop The city center is ringed by the Canal Loop of Kiesersgrat, Herrengracht, and Prinsengrat as well as the Single Canal. The area between Radwistra and Leidstra consists of nine streets which are a mecca for vintage trends and Dutch fine designs. The Canal Loop region is lined by charming homes which have been converted into great places to stay in Amsterdam. It also features ancient canals and bicycle-friendly roads. Towards the south are the colorful and eye-soothing Bloem en Markt Flower Market and the Muntplein and Rembrandtplein squares known for their numerous cafes. Grat and Gordel South Grat and Gordel South is home to a glut of bars, clubs, and restaurants spread out all the way across Rembrandtplein and Leidsplein. Such ideal location of the area has helped it increase and grow in popularity of late. The area has many budget places to stay in Amsterdam along the nearby canals, most accommodations are quite pleasing while some are also elegant. Grat and Gordel West Located towards the west of Amsterdam's old centre, Grat and Gordel West streets are lined with canals. It has several quiet hotels by the waterside. However, the cheapest accommodations are mostly located along one of the busiest streets in the city, i.e. the Radwistra. The Plantage and Old Jewish Quarter It is primarily a residential area, with just a few restaurants and bars. Hence, it is not frequented by many tourists. However, if you select this place to stay in Amsterdam, then you will definitely have no problem sleeping. Another point to note is the fact that most tourist hotspots are located just a short distance away. Amsterdam Nord and the Eastern Docklands These promising and fast-rising districts are home to some exceptional, modern, and innovative places to stay in Amsterdam. One can easily travel from here to other places via tram or ferry. The wide expanses and industrial-era architecture can often come as a surprise, for tourists in a city known for its medieval streets and buildings. The Jordan 
located towards west of Canal Loop and city centre, Jordan District is a little far from the main attractions. Formerly a working class locality, it has now been transformed into a lively meeting place with lots of diverse restaurants, peculiar shops, and lively bars. It is also home to top of the line art galleries such as Stede Lake Museum Bureau Amsterdam, situated on Rosenstra. The very famous Anne Frank's house is situated on the district's northern border. Most of the houses are conventional Dutch residences and hence will be a great place to stay in Amsterdam. It is important to note that Rosengrat and Marnikstra are busy main roads and hence avoid accommodations near them. The Museum Quarter Located towards southwest of city centre, the Museum Quarter features no canals. It is however known for being home to popular tourist attractions like the Rijksmuseum, the biggest art gallery in the country, and the Van Gogh Museum with the largest collection of Van Gogh artworks located on Museum Plein, as well as exclusive stores and shops. The diverse neighborhood of De Pijp with a high concentration of bars and diners is located towards the east, it is visited by all, from artists to students. Leidsplein and its lively nightlife is a short walk away from Museum Quarter. Most of the accommodations in this district are high-end and boutique hotels. The main negative of this place is that the two main roads nearby feature near-continuous traffic. Fondelpark Regarded as the lungs of the city, Leafy and Lush Fondelpark is located on the southern border of Jordan District. The posh locality is known for its varied designer and oat shopping streets like Jacob Brechtstra and Cornelis Skytstra. Tourists can relax and mix with the locals at this fabulous park. It is a favorite place for bike rides, picnics, free concerts, and inline skating. The park also features an open-air theater and a film museum. Leidsplein Square, lined with beautiful terraces and vibrant cafes, and Museum Plein are located nearby. The Outer Districts Amsterdam Oost and other regions in the Outer Districts are thus becoming hubs of exciting new places to stay in Amsterdam. Travelers can expect to get high-end accommodations at affordable rates in these areas. The Outer Districts are well connected by frequent and reliable trams and hence tourists do not need to worry about being too far away from real action. So where would you like to stay in Amsterdam? Leave your inputs in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel Travel Unravel for more informative travel videos.